A ball is thrown horizontally at 15 metres per second from a window which is 6 metres above the horizontal ground. The ball goes over a fence 2.5 metres high, D metres away from the window as shown in the diagram. The origin is on the ground directly below the window and the X axis horizontally in the horizontal in direction in which the ball is thrown. And the Y axis is vertically upward. So we've got an axis here, X and Y. The ball is thrown from this window here at 15 metres per second. So the angle is actually going to be zero for this projectile motion. We've got the fence, which is D metres away and 2.5 metres high. And we know that the ball goes over the fence. So find the time the ball takes to reach the ground. Find the Cartesian equation of the trajectory of the ball. And find the range of the possible values of D. OK, so we've got our diagram here. So we're going to use that y is equal to ut sine theta minus a half gt plus 6, because it's 6 off the ground, which means if we want to know where this point is, then, then minus 6 has to be equal to 15 sine of 0, because the angle here is 0, minus a half gt squared. Now, sine of 0 is 0, so that bit disappears. And therefore, we're going to get that t squared is 12, 2 times uh, 6 divided by g. So t will be the square root of 12 over g, which is uh, 2 root 15 over 7, or 1.106 or 1.11 seconds. So b, finding the Cartesian equation... Well, if we take the x component, the x component for uh, projectile motion is x is ut cos theta. Cos of uh, 0 is 1, so we will just get that x is 15t cos of 0. Uh, so t will be x over 15. We now substitute that into ut sine theta minus a half g t squared plus 6. But we know that sine theta is 0, so y will just become equal to 6 minus a half gt squared. This bit will be 0, and we'll just put the 6 at the front. Right, putting my value of t in, we're going to get y is equal to 6 minus a half g x over 15 all squared. And that will give me y is equal to 6 minus 0 0.0217, 7 actually recurs, x squared. So this is the equation, Cartesian equation. Right, we know that the ball um, clears the fence, so we need to find the position of uh, x, or which in fact is d in this, in this case, where this is equal to 2.5, and then any value less than that will be okay to have the fence, because the ball will definitely clear over the fence. So when y is equal to 2.5, we've got 2.5 is equal to 6 minus 0 0.0. 217 times x squared, but x in this case is d. So d squared will be 3.5, that's 6 minus 2.5 over 0 0.2721, 0 0.0217. Make sure you haven't used a rounded off value. So that will give you that d gives you 12.677, and therefore d will have to be less than 12.7 meters to three significant figures. So what we found there is the maximum point where we can put the fence so that the ball actually clears it. Okay, so there's been a video to show you how to find the Cartesian equation of projectile motion and then use it to find a distance. So I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.